This is it, this is the big one. Android 16 QPR1 just dropped, and this is the update we were all hoping for. Redesigns, new colors, fonts, shapes, and not only for Pixel smartphones either. Strap in and get comfy, the new Android has arrived. Hey guys, I'm Ryan Thomas, and I'm not gonna lie, this update has me feeling a whole lot better than when I made that video the other week with Android 16. That previous beta, it just didn't seem to bring a whole lot new to the table. It was dull, boring, samey, but Google has been unveiling its hard efforts over the past couple of days at Google I.O. and of course the Android show. And there's an awful lot here worth talking about to spice up the Pixel line. So we should probably dive right into what Google is calling Material 3 Expressive. By the way guys, just as I finished recording my M3E video, Google went and dropped the QPR1 beta build, so all that hard work went out the window. So now more than ever, I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a like and a subscription. Thank you so much. You can download QPR1 right now on your device via Android's beta program if you're enrolled in that. It will just reboot your phone with the update, I believe it was around three gigabytes if I remember correctly, and boom, you are now experiencing the whole new Android Pixel experience. The theme of this design really is to make Android feel alive and more dynamic, with more personalization and customization being the top priorities here. It's moving away from the harsh and cold business side to a bubbly and friendly playful side with bold new fonts, colors, shapes, and even callbacks to features we saw in earlier betas that have started to make a little bit more sense now. Chief among which are the live notifications, which can essentially display tracking information via a progress bar for whatever app you've associated it with. For instance, if you're in line to buy a ticket or you've ordered a food delivery, instead of having to enter the app and then refresh and check the information, it'll all be here at a glance. The Easter egg actually for Android this time around does demonstrate this if you wanna try it out for yourself. As for the actual design though, QPR1 and Material 3 Expressive make your phone feel more alive. They are smoother with the animations. There's a physics system built into them, so you get sort of a sticky or a bouncy element. Nowhere really shows this off quite like the quick settings and notification shade, which has been completely transformed. Sliding in here, you'll immediately notice the background has a blur effect, so it feels area, feels more open with the new shapes for the new quick settings buttons themselves and the brightness slider, which now has a bit of a grab handle on it. There's a new font here as well, or at least one that I think is a little higher in the weight, which helps it feel friendlier and definitely more modern. When you grab notifications, they sort of stick and move with haptic feedback that helps you feel what the phone is actually doing. And I'm a big fan of the big clear all button at the bottom of the screen as well. And when you go into the recents menu, you'll find that immediately there's more of that physics engine at play with the bouncy animation. As you swipe away apps to close them, the rest of the apps pop back in again with a playful bounce. There's also more color across the board with the most obvious for me being the settings page. Right on that top layer, you can then see how Google has tried to divvy up the settings with different blocks and types with different colors. It does look great, I have to give it that, but also it actually seems to split it up a little bit better so you can more easily find what you're looking for. Annoyingly, there's no way to majorly edit the at a glance section once again, which is something that a lot of us have been sort of asking for a little while now. Maybe that comes in a later build or the full fat version, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm not holding out hope though, because we've been asking about that for a little while and we haven't had anything. I know that fundamentally and functionally, these changes aren't absolutely huge, but given that we interact with the notification shade and quick settings so often, and what you're looking at is the actual UI and not under the hood changes, Material 3 Expressive, well, this update at least, feels massive. And along with the super classy Pixel hardware this year with the even bezels and so on, really adds to the aesthetic for me. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on the aesthetic in the comment section. I think what we'll end up seeing once all of these things are in a full public standard build of Android 16 is more variety and different setups with the stock versions of Android. Like yes, you can install custom launchers, font packs, even pay for expensive plugins if you really wanted to, 
but M3E should be giving us a lot more out of the box customization and not in the boring, slightly tweaked here or there kind of way either. The promo material shows crazy, bold, zany graphics that I cannot wait to be able to enable on my Pixel. By the way, you should totally check out the Material IO blog Google has with its new M3E section having been written up already. Not only can you find out more information on what this setup actually looks like, but there are also a fair few mock-ups and other promo pieces that give you a real sense of what is actually going to turn out like once it's fully baked and pushed out to our devices outside of the QPR builds. Link will be in the description. It's well worth a look if you're interested. Something from the Android show that got me really excited, by the way, is seeing the new changes on the Wear OS and Pixel Watch 3 side of things. Like, the idea here is to make the interface more circular and bubbly to reflect the pebble-like shape of the Pixel Watch 3 hardware. And I think that is going to make for a really nice package. I'm already quite a big fan of the Pixel Watch 3 to start with, so it'll be great to see this update potentially elevate that as well. Android 16 Material 3 Expressive is a massive and very much welcome change that makes me excited to see where Google is going to go with this and take its new Android design baseline. Can it be a springboard where more apps across Android get this funky new treatment? Hopefully we'll find out soon. And are other versions of Android from third parties and other manufacturers going to take pieces of this or be inspired to do their own thing? Because I think M3e makes Pixel Experience the best looking Android skin by some distance. Surely that would spur on competition because Google has managed to do this without copy and pasting anything from iOS. Quite the opposite, M3e looks incredibly unique and stands out from the One UI, Oxygen OS and other crowd. It also has character and personality and makes me excited for what the real potential could be for Android 16. Google is clearly changing how it delivers updates with different sections making up the total. One part under the hood and the second with more appreciable updates to the user facing side of the software. Perhaps with that second part delivered in time for the latest mainline Pixel smartphones each year. Guys, what do you think about Android 16 and the new M3e setup? Are you a fan of this new aesthetic or do you simply not care? And are pixels just not quite enough from a hardware standpoint for you to really make the leap? I'm not going to lie. After loading QPR1 up on the 9 Pro XL, I'm very much tempted to switch over to a pixel from my OnePlus because the software design here for me is absolutely phenomenal. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments. Am I just overreacting here? And whilst you're down there conversing, be sure to hit like if you enjoyed today's content and of course subscribe to never miss another upload on this channel. Thank you all so much for watching. I've been Ryan Thomas and I will catch you later. Cheers.